Hey, welcome back everybody. How are we doing? Good morning. Good morning. It's currently 530 in the morning, my time in the Midwest. And here we go. Drink yourself a Celsius, unsponsored. I'm calculating up right now how many shards that we actually need to open um, to do the summon rush. Now, I'm looking at it, 3,200, right? We're going to divide that by 500. 6.4 sacreds, which is doable. Um, but then like 3,200, right? Divided by 120 for voids. About 26 voids, 27 voids. I actually want to get down to here, here, right here. Eternal soil essence. We can get five of that. Um, my original thought was maybe we just go ahead and come down and we get this extra legendary skill tome because we have enough for it. Uh, if we look at, we go 8,100, right, divided by 500, 16.2 sacreds. We have 14. <sighs> yeah, I'm wondering. Because really, we need the skill tomes. We have legendaries that we need to finish, we need to book out. Um, and we have the, I guess the best word, we have the surplus for it. I'm really close to Mercy on Voids. Um, do I want a Siffy? Do I want an Ekret? No, I already have them. Don't need them. Uh, but again, when I'm looking at this pool here, I have everybody but Kaja, because I didn't go for her. But it's like, would I go for another Duchess? Would I go for my fifth Brogni to plus four my Brogni? Like, I have it, have it, have it, have it. So it's really, it's a weird conundrum, you know, to be in. Um, if I go look at my Faction Guardians as well, just thinking about Duchess here. Yeah. I mean, I would just end up plus wanting my first Duchess if I did hit a Duchess. And it's not guaranteed. That's another thing. It's not guaranteed. Um, and we have two time Sacreds coming next weekend, which is during the Champion Chase Tournament. So it's like, I really want to hold on to these Sacreds. And we're, it's going to be a while before we get back to times two Voids. So as I'm looking at it, 42 Voids times 120. It's going to be about 5,000 points. And then we need to make up uh, 3,000 points just to get that last skill tome that I'm wanting to get. So, so, oh, 5,000. Yeah, all, all the voids would get me to what I want initially, which would be this Eternal Soul Essence. Let me see how many legendary skill tomes I have. 15. Ah. Well, let's just do it. Um, I'm not going to select any of these guys. I don't need to empower any of them, really. The Siffy would be nice, I guess. Um, yeah, why not? Let's do it. We'll go Siffy and probably Maneater. Okay. And we'll do two single pulls and see where we get. This has been about a month of saving uh, voids. So we'll see where we're at. And we don't have enough room right off the bat. So let's quick make some room. Let's move some stuff over. Right over, and then we'll do this. I'm slowly working on Spider for Curse City. Um, all right, let's do let's do our ten pulls. We gotta get rid of two more, actually. My bad. Just throw, throw Brachus and throw it all in there. Okay. All right. Let's see. Cross our fingers. Right. Hopefully, we get something pretty decent. I don't, I do have RSL Helper open, but we're not going to look. Oh, I'm going to be real butthurt if, like, the new uh, dog champion is a void. <laughs> oh, rough. Ten pull for rares. That's a bummer. All right, come on, let me see something here. I got a feeling we're going to see something pretty decent. 
pretty decent. Skrank, alright, I get to empower my Skrank. I think she might be my first one. Let's see, is that my first one? Nope. Come on, come on. Frenzy the Cackler, so, okay. From the fusion, I didn't have any left, so now I can work on this, because I see some people using Frenzy uh, for some Cursidi stuff. Bellower's nice. Actually, there's a new tact with Bellower, where you put that new blessing on him that uh, buffs his uh, his debuffs to the bigger version, which I did turn my, bu uh, my Bellower into. It's our last 10 pull. Let's rip it. Nothing. All right, well. Another 40 towards Mercy, I suppose. I thought we were real close to it, but I guess not. Let's grab that. Let's grab that. Now, you may be thinking I'm pretty crazy for opening during a non times 2 event. And you probably would be correct. But in my thought process, it's like, well, I'm pretty close to Mercy. Actually, let me check my Mercy tracker on this where is it right here nope okay well from this it says i'm 82 into mercy so i was like oh no i'm pretty close i'm pretty far away um <laughs> but then again i still want these legendary skill tomes so i'm thinking oh boy we need another three thousand so we need to open six sacreds for that or, or, 3,000, nope. We'd have to open 15 primals, which you don't really want to do outside of a times two. So it's going to have to be the sacreds. So it's going to be six sacreds, right? So... Yes, let's do that. And we'll grab Grizzled Yarl and just bust six of them. All right, very good. Good for empowerment. Again, good for empowerment. Trumbor, not bad. I have yet to use Deathless ever. Our A1 does a lot of stuff. Okay. There's four. I'm not expecting anything. My Burangiri just got stronger. Let me just recheck here. Yeah. Where are we at? To 8100. Yeah, and then we can just open some mystery shards to clear it out. So two more. Okay, who is it? All right. Second Trunda. That's actually a really good pull, uh, especially for Hydra. So I don't even know if I'd empower my Trunda. What would I do with her? What would I do? All right, big surprise. Very nice. And then, yeah, 8,100. So, let's see, there's a 20 a pop. Six, uh, yeah, six of these. Okay, not bad. Pretty good day, honestly, getting that extra Trunda. I've seen people do double Trunda teams for Hydra for like hard and normal. All right, and then we're on the slow climb uh, back to, oh, to, I opened way more than I had to. Thought they were 20. Guess not. Guess not. Well, there you go. At least we got to see some gold today. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and uh, I'll catch you later this weekend. Bye-bye.